Hi, this is Michael from Germany and I want to show you with this video how to create and automate uh, PowerPoint slide decks by using the new MicroStrategy for Office plugin that is available only for Excel. But if you link PowerPoint to Excel and then automate uh, the data process by using the MicroStrategy for Office plugin, uh, it can be discussed as an interface for automating PowerPoint slides. So this is really powerful and here you can see an example. I have a simple PowerPoint file and we have three slides here and they are empty. These slides and the graphs are linked to an Excel file and here you can see the Excel file and this Excel file is using the new MicroStrategy for Office plugin version 2020 update 1. So um, here you can see we have some graphs uh, they are still empty because I used the data clear clearing feature and uh, there are some tables and a cross table and moreover we have a hidden sheet here uh, that is only needed for the data transfer between Excel and uh, MicroStrategy. All right, so if I click here on view data, everything is updated, sure. So it takes some seconds here. Product performance, this is a, a dossier visualization. We have a big table a data set and two additional data sets. And now you can see we have the graphs here. These are Excel graphs and most of them are pointing to data sets that are hidden. So MicroStrategy created these data sets, this table in the background here and pushed the data into a hidden sheet. That's a very, very good um, uh, approach yeah, to, to hide the data in the background. On the other hand, you can see here we have a table. This table was generated by MicroStrategy, but I adjusted the table a little bit with microcharts so you can combine the grid capabilities of the MicroStrategy for Office plugin with Excel functionality. And if you update the process, if you update the data, then uh, this um, these microcharts are updated as well. Very nice approach. And here you can see uh, this is a visualization that comes from a MicroStrategy dossier. And the cool feature is that uh, if you link to this dossier visualization, you can, um, you can limit the results of this visualization using all the capabilities of the dossier, and then you synchronize the data with Excel. So this is really powerful. Okay, let's go back to PowerPoint. So I open the file again, and PowerPoint tells me, hey, would you like to update the links? I say, yes, please. And everything is done. So you can see here, Everything is done and you can see the data here. So this is really a good approach. By the way, in order to update the graphs, you have uh, different uh, options. So one option is you just click the graph and then you click on the design menu and here you can say data refresh. Okay, so this is the first option. But sometimes you say, uh, I would like to update all the graphs in one step and therefore uh, you go onto the file menu and here you can see a menu item called edit links to files. You click on this and here you can see all the different links uh, to the graphs and grids you're using that are linked to Excel. Yeah? And it's important that you click this checkbox automatic update and then my, uh, PowerPoint asks you uh, when you start the file, um, shall I update all the data sets in the background, all the graphs, and then everything is updated. All right, if I go back, don't save. I go back and if I say, okay, clear data, yes. And you go back here and I open the file again and I say update links, you see no data there. Okay, so it's really synchronizing the current state of the Excel file. All right, uh, one last example. Um, I update the graphs a little bit here. Two things I want to show you. Um, I really like the feature to hide the data that is synchronized with MicroStrategy. So as you can see here, if I click on unhide, there is a sheet called MicroStrategy data and here is the MicroStrategy data. As you might know, if you click on the panel on a data synchronization task, yeah, uh, MicroStrategy uh, points the focus on the table that is synchronized with this task. But if you unhide, um, this uh, sheet, then you have a problem if you click here on these tasks and you get an error and then Excel or the, the plugin from MicroStrategy will remove the corresponding task from this list. So be careful. Yeah, if you hide a sheet, then don't use the, this point feature here to point to the table where the data is synchronized. 
All right. Um, last thing I want to show you. If you click here on this graph, and I want to use this graph in the PowerPoint, just hit copy. Yeah, you copy the graph, copy, and then we go into the PowerPoint, and then uh, let's create a new sheet there. And then if you click here on paste, okay, it's not available now. Let's make it again. Copy, right mouse click. You see this option here, use destination theme and link data. This is important because if you just embed the workbook, yeah, then uh, the data is isolated there and it's not uh, any more linked to the data set that comes from Excel and therefore it's not linked using the semantic graph uh, from MicroStrategy. So always use this option. Yeah? Uh, if you synchronize a grid, like this example, then you have to click here on paste and then paste special and there you need to option paste link and then you need to, to uh, check this item for the grid and then uh, the grid is also uh, linked with the data set that uh, is working in Excel and is linked using the MicroStrategy for Office plugin. This is all you have to keep in mind if you would like to create those PowerPoint files that are updated automatically by using the MicroStrategy for Office plugin. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.